Hey guys, so today's video is going to be a Toronto basement apartment tour. I'm going to be showing you guys basically where I've lived for the past two years. Um, this is the apartment that I moved into after I finished college or like right as I was finishing college. And um, it's the apartment that I got Miko at. I am going to be moving next month, which is why I'm filming this now so that you guys can see my place now that I'm moving out. So I'm basically just going to go around and show you what everything looks like. So this is the entrance of the house. So you basically just come down, or not the house, but the apartment. So you come down these stairs um, to get into the house. There's actually a little kind of separate entrance, um, which is my entrance, and then this door, which is my actual entrance. So it's kind of like two doors to get into here. Um, but basically, I just have a few of Miko's things up there, um, a little bit of decor, and then my shoes. Those are like his leashes, collars, that sort of thing. Love this brick wall, by the way. I thought this was so cute. I have a bell here because in the beginning, I was going to try and train Miko to use these bells. But to be honest, when he needs to go pee, he'll just whine. Like, he'll come to me and, like, I can just tell. I have this little coat rack thing here with some shoes. Back here, I have this little basket. I keep some of Miko's treats. I have this temperature checker for when I was taking appointments at the... Like, I guess at the end of summer last year, I was checking temperatures before our clients came in. Some gloves, things like that. Then I have some decor here. My keys, some face masks, another little plant thing that's fake. <laughs> These actually shouldn't be here. And over here, I just have this lovely little mirror and this little chair here to sit down. This side is the storage room, which I use as my closet. I'll show you guys that on the other side because there's two entrances to this. I'll kind of give you the overview of this hallway right here. So this door is my lash room. I filmed a whole separate video on everything in my lash room. Like I went really in depth. So you guys can go check that out if you wanna see what looks like in there. Then you come down this hallway and you see my bedroom. This is what my bedroom looks like. So this bed is actually a double, but it pulls out to be like a double king or something like that. Like it's a huge bed. It literally takes up the entire room which I kind of didn't mind at the time, like while I was living here, because I mean, the place was pretty big. So I really only went in here to sleep. Like I had another place to go and, you know, do my work and stuff and do things like that in my lash room. So this was kind of nice for the time being. But the reason I actually got this bed was because I wanted to be able to sleep in a big bed because I'm used to a queen size. But at the time that I bought the bed, I was doing lashes in my bedroom because the lash room was actually my friend's room. So basically I would have the bed half the size, it'd be like this much. And then I put my lash bed up here when I had clients and then take it down and open the bed. It was a lot of work, but yeah, that was basically how that worked. So I have some hanging plants here that I actually broke up there and I have it like sitting here, but I'll show you guys that in a second. Decor over there. So that's actually the inspiration or not even the inspiration. That's actually the artwork that came from my Wink and Arch logo. That was actually just a girl's artwork that I saw and I bought it from her and then used it. And then when I was trying to come up with my actual business, I was like, I like that a lot as a logo. So I asked her for her rights and everything like that. And yeah, and then those flowers right there are both flowers that my boyfriend gave me when we first started dating. I think that was for maybe like Valentine's Day and then my birthday, I can't really remember, but um, I just dried one of them each. I actually dry one of the flowers that he gives me in like almost all of our occasions and stuff like that. So I have a bunch of them, but those are the only ones that I've framed and I just love the way it looks. Like it looks so pretty to me. And then the light hanging there is just really like nice. It makes it look nice and warm in here because it's like a yellow toned light. Then we have this Miko, those pillows, actually, I can't remember where they're from. I think I stuffed them myself and the covers are from Amazon. I have this little skylight, which I honestly don't really use as often as I used to because I have the neon lights, which I'll show you guys an overview of the entire house, like a quick little tour with the neon lights on because it just looks really nice. He looks like he's posing. I come this way. This is the Ikea Hobbit mirror that everybody has. Um, yeah. So then over here, I have another little mirror. I have some of my things that I use. So I used to use a fan during the summer. I have an air purifier. I have a garbage can behind there for like tissues or whatever it is I need in here. And then I have this little chair that I got for my aunt. And then that's actually the plant that had broken off the wall. I just hung it there for now. And then we have Miko's crate, which she sometimes but not always sleeps in. That's the bedroom. So when you come out this way, 
I have this little shelf thingy here. Beside it, I have a huge bed that Miko lays on with a few of his toys. Um, and then this little shelf thingy, which is super, super cute. A lot of decor on here and some baskets for organization. That's like all candles and then that's all like wires and plugs. Let me do another little overview. So if you are this way looking at this stuff, if you turn right, you'll see that is where my TV is, a little tree, my little, little table thingy that I use for work because I actually work from my couch. I just find it a lot more comfortable than in the last room, especially because the last room doesn't have any windows, so it kind of gets stuffy in there. So I have this couch, and then I have a little basket, which I usually have my blanket in, but I'm washing it right now. I'm gonna keep walking this way, so then that's where that shelf is again. This is a little mirror that's actually for jewelry. Um, I have a whole jewelry collection on my channel. You guys can go check that out. And then this is where like my little laundry is. I have like my washer dryer, cleaning supplies, and then my closet area, which I think I've showed you guys before, but I'm not even gonna, I'll give you a little sneak peek, but it's basically a storage room that I've turned into a walk-in closet. Like I'm not in love with it, but that's what the situation is. We're gonna go back this way. This is like all open concept, so it's kind of hard to know where to show you. But basically here, I just have this little lamp. This is actually from Amazon and it plugs in so that I can actually plug my phone charger into here, which is nice. A little table here because I don't really have a coffee table over there. This is from Walmart actually and it just has all of Miko's stuff like his toys, his clothes, his vet papers, all that sort of thing. Literally these two bins are just full of his toys and then he has a little bin here where I keep like four or five of his toys out at a time. Here's his bed. There's just like a small little TV. I just noticed there's something on my TV. Going from this way, I kind of wish I had something here, but this actually used to be where Miko's playpen was. If you used to watch our videos when I first got him, you know, you'll know that he stayed in the playpen while I was gone, like when I wasn't home, up until pretty much recently. So that is where that little area was. Um, then there's the garbage, the recycling. This little island is from Ikea. I'm obsessed with this. This literally made a biggest difference in the house. I feel like before this was here, there was no separation between the kitchen and the living room. So it really just made it look a lot smaller. This kind of makes the room look bigger. So I'm obsessed with the way this looks. Here I have some of Miko treats, Miko's treats in here. This little plant. And then up here I have a bunch of bins with different things, like just a bunch of different stuff. Miko's little water bowl. I have my fridge here with some little things on top that's empty because I've never known what to put in there. Then my kitchen looks kind of cluttered right now because there's not a lot of storage space. I was hoping to be able to use this as storage space eventually. This doesn't need to be here, but it's okay. Um, I was hoping to be able to use this as storage space eventually, like on top, but I wasn't able to figure out a way to get a plug connected to this without having one like literally drape across the floor. And since Miko now does roam kind of freely, I was just nervous. He doesn't ever really, actually he's never gone for a wire, but if it's like in the middle of the hallway, I don't know, I just, I didn't want to risk it. So I left everything up here, but this island's actually really great because there's storage here as well. There's cupboards and drawers, more cupboards, the oven and the stove. I have my Nespresso that I actually got as a gift from my aunt and my mom. I have my toaster, my frother, a little blender, my air fryer, my microwave, Miko's like supplements and oils and all that stuff for his food. A dish rack. I'm so excited because my new house has a um, dishwasher, which is going to be so nice. Show you guys the bathroom. You guys have kind of seen this in my declutter my bathroom with me video. But here I just have my drawers, my makeup and my hair supplies are all in here. I have a mirror, some perfume, some pimple patches, some nail glue, stuff like that. Behind this window is actually really cluttered as well, but it's where I keep basically everything that I use on the daily. Um, I have like my makeup brushes, my toothbrush, all that sort of thing. I never have this open anyways because people can really easily see into the apartment into this bathroom. So I always have this closed, so I figured I might as well store stuff behind it since it's closed anyways. Plus then I can have a cleaner countertop, which I love. I love this bathroom and I'm definitely gonna miss it because in my new place, the bathroom isn't as big or isn't as like modern looking. It's daytime right now, so the window's definitely kind of ruining the colors, but usually at night it looks so nice and it's, it's kind of more prominent in the bedroom because it's a smaller space and the window's closed. So that is pretty much my entire apartment. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. 
please do subscribe to my channel and if you are subscribed already thank you so much i really appreciate it i am really excited to start filming moving vlogs and vlogs of me buying new furniture and doing diys things like that so yeah thanks again for watching bye